Welcome to Dead Rising. With the excitement of the Deluxe Remaster coming very soon, I thought it was finally time to get the Platinum. Having bought a 360 back in 2006, just to play this game, I earned all but the 7 day survivor achievement. Reason being, my 360 broke two times in a row, so I gave up. And as for the PS4 version, which is the version I'll be playing today, I've played a lot of it. I didn't bother though too much with the trophies, since I'd already done most of the achievements, well basically all of the achievements on Xbox. That's until now though. Today's the day I finally, after 18 long years, unlock that trophy along with a few others are missing for the Platinum. Since I'd already put in about 70 hours on the PS4 version, I had 38 of the trophies unlocked, leaving only 13 left. I started out with a simple trophy, perfect gunner for not missing a single shot with a machine gun. So I went into overtime, killed a soldier, stole his gun, headed through the tunnels and entered the meat processing area and shot all of 150 bullets into the meat. Easy. And then it happened. I waited for the final call from Otis. If you played Dead Rising and tried to get the trophies slash achievements, you're probably well aware of this trophy. It is incredibly easy to miss. So I waited for that last call. I answered Cheryl's request. Here we go. Wait. Where's the trophy? There's no way. Are you serious? What did I miss? Where did I miss a call? Well, looks like I'm doing another playthrough. Even though I missed that trophy, I still had to continue this playthrough for a few more trophies, with the first one being Hella Chopper. Once you reach the final day while completing all of the case files, the military will arrive along with a chopper that patrols the leisure park. My task was to shoot it down. Oh, not shoot it down, but I guess just shoot it until it leaves. Much easier said than done though. The thing moves pretty quick, Yay, helicopter. That was freaking awkward. 69% as well. But I should also get the unbreakable trophy for getting the true ending without being knocked out by the soldiers. Once it had reached 10 a.m., I went back to Isabella to let her know I was leaving in two hours. And she basically just said, go and save yourself. As I made my way back to the roof, I was creeped out by all of the dead zombies. It just feels weird seeing all the bodies on the floor. It's just that eerie feeling, you know? But after reaching the roof, I had time to spare. Looking out at the town, I remembered back in 2006 when I originally played it, how I wished we could just explore the town and break out of the mall. Then we got Dead Rising 4. <laughs> Let's not talk about that one. Anyway, the chopper arrived on time. I'm down here. Oh yeah, here he comes. Oh! Oh my god. There's my way out of here. Being eaten. Brilliant. And... Great. And he's dead. Well, we are screwed. Frank looking defeated. Oh, there it is, the ending. The absolute legends that made this game. Thank you to each and every one of you. However, now getting my score, I had 48 survivors, meaning I was only missing two. I should actually have had 49 at this point, but I let one die. Oops, what are you going to do? Now, though, I'm in overtime mode. One last ditch effort to make it out alive with the final two survivors I needed for 50. Let's go, Isabella. What's wrong with me? Our freaking chopper just crashed. Was stranded. Yeah, he's definitely just... He's done. Of course, being Frank and Isabella. After destroying Brock's tank, I whipped his ass and finished overtime mode, unlocking both Unbreakable and Saint. Nice. That's 50 survivors done. But not before getting this extremely weird glitch that I've never had before. What the hell? I just beat him with no life and now I'm invincible. The cutscene's supposed to play. But I guess because the game thinks I'm dead, the cutscene didn't play. He like snapped my neck, but it didn't kill me. And I can't actually move the camera or anything. Okay, I have played through this game many, many times and that has never happened. I can't even pause the game. Come on, Brock, let's go. I'm so close to dying again. Do the spin. Oh, got him with the last hit. 
Ooh, unbreakable. Get the true ending without being knocked out, and hopefully I've saved 50 people. Yeah, there we go. Saint. Beautiful. Get at least 50 survivors out of the mall. Not wasting any time, I jumped right into my second playthrough. My goal with this playthrough was to try and get two trophies. Full set and transmission error. Whether I actually achieve this goal is another story. But first though, was full set. I might finally be able to get the last person I need to take a picture of, which is Tad. Oh my god, Ken, you are annoying and crazy. He wants to take a picture of him as he turns into a zombie. Not today, Ken. Not today. Well, I'm sorry. He's crazy. So Ken's gonna go crazy. It's no wonder this is the only one I needed because it's super missable. This is the third part of the mission. And for Kent not to kill Tad, I basically needed to get to this area between 12 o'clock and 12.05. So you've literally got to time it perfect. All right. Yes, there it is. Full set. Collect all portraits in the notebook. Finally. And next was the dreaded transmissionary trophy, the one I failed to get earlier, for answering all of Otis's calls. That's 39 calls in total that you must answer. The difficult part here is really, really easy to miss. You have to be in the right places at the right time. And with some of the windows for the calls being pretty small, not only that, you need to make sure you don't get hit. Otherwise, it'll interrupt the call and then it'll call back. But I think if you'd miss that too many times, even then he'll stop calling. So yeah, this trophy was stressful. Even following a guy, I just was not confident that I would actually get it. But here's the moment of truth. Would it finally pop or would I yet again need another full playthrough for this nightmare of a trophy? All right, here we go. The second to last call should come in any second now. Yep, here we go. So this should be Simone's favor. So she wants a handgun. Okay, so we got that one. So we should now only need one more call which will be cheryl's i think it was request which is at eight o'clock if we don't get the trophy after that oh okay we're close we are close to the final call please give me the trophy i'm probably gonna cry if i don't get this right now because i followed the guide so closely i don't want to have to do this again right here we go come on please the trophy hasn't popped there's no way. Oh, I was so... Oh, my God. Transmission error. And so all calls from Ot. I was so stressed right there. I thought I missed it. I legit thought I missed it then. There it is. Oh, <laughs> we're done. Okay. Now I can finish this playthrough and go straight into the next playthrough, which should probably be the final playthrough before the survivor trophies. After allowing my heart rate to go down, I finished my second playthrough and jumped off for the night. Early the next morning, I started up what I hoped would be my third and final playthrough for another two more trophies. That's Tour Guide and Frank the Pimp. The first two I tackled go hand in hand. Tour Guide for escorting eight survivors at once and Frank the Pimp for escorting eight female survivors at the same time. For some context, eight is the maximum number you can actually have at once. So first things first, I had to wait for the out of control scoop and go and kill Adam the Clown. Reason being, I could save Greg and he'll show me a secret shortcut in the Wonderlands Plaza bathroom. That would get me straight to Paradise Plaza on the other side of the map, meaning we could just skip so much. And with how bad the survivors are in this game, that is incredibly useful. Once it's shown it me though, I obviously killed him because, well, it's ladies night after all. I then went on a rampage. You might be asking why I'm killing all these survivors. Well, other than most of them, you know, being male, the game only allows a certain amount of survivors to spawn in at once. So if I don't kill these, new ones won't even show up. But moving on, I saved my first two survivors, Pamela and Heather, waited in the bathroom until 11am, went and killed poor Ronald in Jill Sandwiches. All right, well, you don't have to starve anymore, Ronald. Cool shop name there. Waited in the bathroom, yet again, until I got the call for Above the Law. Killed the boss and saved Kay, Lily, Kelly, and Janet, bringing my total up to six. Got 
back to the bathroom and waited one final time. Come on, ladies, get in here. I commanded the girls to wait here for me because they didn't want them getting killed. Save the game because getting all of them down here was a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. All right, that's one, two, three, four, two more, five, last one. Where's she at? Oh my God, Janet, Janet. Don't do this, Janet. Get in there, Janet. Thank you, Janet. Because then I need to go in here before 1 p.m. and then back. There we go. Right, so pretty good so far. Right, so now it's 1 o'clock. We come in here. I'm going to mark the floor there so they all stay in here. When we get over here, Nick and Sally should be dangling. Yes, there we go. Right, so now I need to kill Nick. Sorry, Nick. Save Sally. Alright, so now I'm going to grab this. Boom. Kick it out to knock her down. There we go. Nick's dead. Let's recruit Sally. There we go. I've already marked the bathroom, so she should just run straight over there. No problems. Oh, she's... Is she, is she breaking? Okay, I think she's good. Nope, don't go up the stairs. There we go. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Right, so now we've got them all here. All right, let's get them all to follow me. So we need one more. All right, I'm going to get them to stay there. Right, so Jennifer's the last one I need now. Once I get Jennifer, we should pop both trophies. I don't think we need to save them. I think we just have to have them. Here we go. Moment of truth, Jennifer. Yes, tour guide and Frank the pimp. Come on. There we go. Frank the pimp. That's the two final trophies we needed here. So all we need to do now is survivor. And it was then time for the final four trophies. Five day survivor, seven day survivor. With the seven day survivor having eluded me for, as I said at the beginning of the video, 18 long years. But what is seven day survivor? Well, in short, you have to survive for seven days, which in real time is 14 hours. Sounds easy, right? Just stand around for 14 hours. Well, you would think that but you're wrong the whole time your health is slowly depleting meaning you constantly have to be eaten to heal the kicker is this mode only has a certain amount of healing items so you can't just wait next to an unlimited supply of milk or something it doesn't exist in this mode so most of the food will come from killing survivors and psychos but there's more you can't save so you have to do this in one go and if you die on day six for example well you're all the way back to day one mate now you know why this trophy is so infamous i could go into even more detail because there's actually a lot more involved with earning this trophy but what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna wait for the new jillux remaster version coming out in september and cover it in much more detail i make a video probably dedicated just to this trophy and this mode so subscribe if you want to see that but the task at hand while i'm doing this i will also grab the two extremely easy trophies which is outdoorsman an indoorsman for spending 24 hours in game time in each of those locations that's two hours in real life without leaving and since i've been standing around a lot this is a perfect time to get them so speaking of which outdoorsman was the first trophy I unlocked while trying to knock this apple out of the tree which i was doing a terrible job of finally only took me about 50 attempts I can get back to my safe spot. Also, another quick note before we move on. With the remaster being on newer systems, you can actually put the console into rest mode. Which, you know, you're not saving it. So if the game crashed or whatever, you would still would have to start from the beginning. But you didn't have to do it all in one go. But I wanted to do it the way it was originally intended to be done on the Xbox 360. So on Sunday, the 14th of July, at about half past nine in the morning, I set aside 14 long hours and attempted this incredibly stressful trophy in one sitting. After a while I headed into Wonderlands Plaza and I was looking for food when Indoorsman popped. Ooh, Indoorsman, leaving only two more. Then while in Colby's movie land, this happened. Right, I'm gonna eat this and I'm gonna go make myself a broom. I feel like I should probably get rid of these guys actually just in case I don't trust it. All right, I'm gonna make a broom. <laughs> <gasps> five day survivor oh my god we got it survived for at least five days oh I, I i i had a feeling i was gonna go away and make a brew and when i come back 
the trophy was going to have unlocked. I literally didn't even finish making the brew because I was in there thinking it's going to freaking unlock. But we done it. Five day survivor is mine, which means we've only got one more trophy and four more hours to go. I'm feeling it. This is this is looking good. Could I finally achieve seven day survivor? Yep, I reached day five for five day survivor while I was away. I checked the footage. It popped literally 17 seconds after I left. <laughs> anyway, back to eating. Got to keep that health up here's me literally jumping out of my seat see my health bar at one i did this many many times but i'll save myself the embarrassment but will i pull this off or will i fail in devastating fashion right at the last hurdle all right here we go the time is right there we're about to reach day seven touching distance we're right there come on still got loads of orange juice come on are we gonna finally get this done 14 hours one sitting no breaks. Come on. Oh. Seven day survival. Oh my God. There it is. I'm trying not to shout because it's super late. Platinum trophy in dead rising one. Oh yeah. 18 years since I first played this game and I've now finally got this trophy slash achievement. I'm going to be doing it again in September. <laughs> <laughs> on the 14th of July at 11.39 p.m., the Seven Day Survivor Trophy slash achievement was mine. And damn, did it feel freaking good. Overall, how was it? Well, honestly, it wasn't hard. It was just ridiculously stressful knowing if you fall weird or mess up at any point also just straight up forgetting to heal if you forget to heal even one time in that 14 hours your run is over and you'll have to start all over again and that's just daunting but that said i'll be doing it again in about a month and i'm probably gonna love doing it well that's the platinum and 100 percent in dead rising i'll hopefully see you soon with dead rising 2 and then of course the dead rising Jolux remaster in September. I've been Mr. Leaning versus Dead Rising. Subscribe for more and happy trophy hunting.